and welcome back to Zoe the Movies, combining live action with animation and classic feelings with modern twists. Tom and Jerry is directed by Tim Story, so enjoy my interview with him. Hi, how are you? Hi, Zoe, I'm good. This is a really odd compliment, but I love your last name. <laughs> yeah, believe me, believe me, it's real. I used to get talked about when I was little. <laughs> Well, um, this comes after Tom and Jerry, the film that you created, comes 28 years after the original. And I love how it maintains a lot of like the, the elements that make Tom and Jerry so like iconic. Um, but there's also a lot of dissimilarities, like they don't talk as much, they have like no dialogue. So um, what is like the main differences between the original and this film? Well, here's what's funny. The, the original material we went back to, we went way back. We went 80 years back. To the original material, which was shot in, um, there were these film shorts that were shot way back in 19, I want to say 50, 40, like late 40s. And the great thing about the original creators, Hanna-Barbera, they never let Tom and Jerry talk. And so I wanted to go back, and I know the, the other film had them speaking. I wanted to be sure that we kind of paid homage to what the originals did. And they just never talked. So I basically wanted to kind of follow that, <laughs> you know, those rules. And um, almost anything that they did in those shorts, we kind of allowed ourselves to do in these. And so it was um, it, it was kind of like I already had a rule book that I had to follow. And um, so, you know, hopefully everybody will enjoy the kind of the, the respect we gave to um, some very old material. <laughs> For sure. And also you also, um, you included some old recordings from Lily and Hannah, like the sound effects from, I think it was 1942, 1957. So um, yes. did you enjoy doing like all the research and uh, searching archives? We did. Um, at some point we knew that if we could find some of these sounds early on, as you think about the screams and even some of the um, impact hits that would happen when they would run into stuff or get punched. <laughs> we went back and tried to find some of this stuff because we knew those that know, know of, the, uh, of the old shorts that uh, used to play way back then would kind of uh, appreciate hearing sounds that they remember. So we went back that we were able to find stuff and some stuff is not even that, but from a sound technical wise, it's not that clean, but we still wanted to use it because we knew um, uh, many people would have a lot of fun when they, um, you know, kind of had this nostalgia moment uh, with Tom and Jerry. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I wasn't alive when, you know, the... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sure of that. <laughs> yeah, but I've still seen a lot of like the cartoons and I thought that was a really cute addition. And also, how was it like making this, um, I guess, because for me, I love the film and I know my mom did too. And um, what she was watching, she like remembered a couple things here and there. So how was it like making it good for both? generations, I guess. You know, it, it, it was real, real interesting. It was it was also fun. We knew that anytime I did something, um, say, of the older generation might might go with, I wanted to always think about the younger generations that were going to be possibly introduced to these cartoons and make sure maybe inside of music or inside of uh, maybe some dances that you might have seen or sound effects or things like that, that would be that would kind of uh, make them feel kind of kind of fun that it's uh, for them as well. So it was rather Rather difficult, but we always found a way to just kind of balance and make sure we just went back and forth and hopefully all the generations would enjoy the film. Well, they sure did because oh, me and my mom, definitely a big age gap there, but we both loved it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm so excited to hear that. So excited. Yeah, no, I, I loved it. Um, also, how was it, because this is a blend of like live action and then animation. So was it like almost like making three films because you had to like, and then you had to combine them at the end. So was that? You know what? I can't say it better than you just said it. It literally is like making three movies. I had to, you know, figure out what they were going to do before you even shot um, and map out a lot of that. And then of course you're shooting it, you know, the, the normal way of making movies. You shoot it on a set and, some, and then of course, I, then you have to add these characters in later. And it was exactly like making three movies. And sometimes, although frustrating, you would always remember what this was going to look like at the end. And, and I've just had the most incredible time bringing these characters to life. Yeah, well, thank you so, so much, Tim. I, I can't say this enough, but I really enjoyed the film. Uh huh. It warms my heart. I'm so glad you liked it. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. Bye, Zoe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me at my Instagram at Zoe the Movies and on TikTok at Zoe.Canella. And you can even subscribe here on YouTube. So, I'll see you in the next one. Everybody in the bouncy house, go bouncy, bouncy, bouncy.